A year ago, December 2022, we hit our first ever $100,000 month at Brands Me Creators. We did just over 120,000, but that was one of the worst months of my life. I was in a very dark place. I was unhappy. I was the most stressed I've ever been in my life. Um, and really, I was just completely out of alignment. And that's something I'm gonna talk about a lot in this video is alignment. A couple of things happened to me that just completely changed my entire life. Um, so up to that point, basically all I had really known, all I'd, all I'd ever kind of been like led down, all I'd ever really seen from other people in this kind of online business space was grow, 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 build a bigger team, charge higher prices, work with uh, you know, clients that had more money and just growth at all costs. And like, that's what I had seen and it's monkey see, monkey do. You watch other people, you know, you purchase other people's courses, you listen to other people, you get in other masterminds and you kind of just like, you follow what other people are doing, thinking that like, that's what you want, thinking that okay, more money is going to equal more happiness, more success, I'm gonna feel better at, about myself. Um, at that time, pretty much all of my self-worth was tied up in the company. I've been working on kind of unraveling those two recently. But yeah, it was grow, grow, grow um, at all cost. So we were basically, we would do, you know, 50 grand one month, then it was like 60, then 75, then 80, and then, yeah, December, we hit our first ever $100,000 month. And what we were selling at the time, it was a coaching program, four month program. We would sell it anywhere between like three to 6,000, kind of depending on if we were running a sale or you know, different little nuances. And so that's all I had known, right? Charge higher prices, work with higher clients, you know, more, uh, established clients, you could say, and just build out bigger teams. So at the time, my team was growing pretty quickly. Sales team was growing. We had one sales rep. We had two at a time working on getting more, building out our client success team, was hiring more people, hiring more VAs. I was doing way more meetings. And I was just so stressed out of my mind 24-7. And Something that I started to realize was I, I realized that this that kind of high ticket business model I wasn't in love with. Like something just felt wrong about it. Something felt like misaligned with me as a business owner and like what I wanted, what my goals were. Because it felt like every time we would bring on more clients, that would just lead to more stress, right? And that would lead to I would have to build more teams and bigger, like, the bigger it was growing, the more stressed I was getting. And so I got to this point where I didn't even want to market our product. Like that kind of became my role in the system, right? I had a sales team built out, had a client success team built out. And so my role was kind of business development, right? Continuing to make things better, continuing to push the business forward, but then also to market it, right? And to sell and to be the face of the brand. But it got to this point where like, there was a lot of friction there. There was a lot of resistance because subconsciously I didn't want to grow anymore, right? But the business needed me to be the face to grow. And so got to this weird point where like I, I didn't want to market it, right? Like I, that was one of the reasons too. I kind of stopped making content for a long time. Um, another thing I didn't like about the high ticket business model is it was very all or nothing for our audience, right? There was this, there was no kind of like test the waters and I'll, I'll explain what I mean by this. So someone's, let's say someone's following us, right? They use our platform. They like our stuff. They're like, cool, you know, I might want to work with these people. They had to decide between I'm not going to work with them at all, or I'm going to pay them $4,000, right? And like to my audience, $4,000 is a lot, right? Maybe it's like a business, four grand is nothing, but to my audience, it's a lot. And so what this does is it forces people that are what I call kind of fence sitters, right? They don't know if they want to work with us or not. They also don't even know, like, do they even want to do UGC? They're kind of on this fence. It forces them to make this like all or nothing decision. And so what would happen, what we saw is like, you know, let's say for every 10 people that would join our program, 
we might get three of them incredible results, right? Three of them killer case studies, uh, they would crush it, the happiest people ever. Maybe six of them would get okay results, right? They join, they'd be happy with it. Like nothing crazy, right? We, we, didn't, we wouldn't take them to like 10, $15,000 months, but like they would improve, they were happy. And then maybe one out of 10 people were like, eh, not that good. Or like, you know what? I'm not even gonna be a content creator anymore. Or like, ah, oh, this, this wasn't for me, this sucks. And so a lot of people in the industry, they would be like, that's perfectly fine. Like, that's just, that's just the game. And like, I, I see that now where it's like, hey, you, you can't help everyone. It doesn't matter how good your product is. Like, there's always gonna be people that aren't happy. Um, but especially during this time, that, that was an issue for me. Like, I would get crippling anxiety whenever we would have someone that wasn't getting results or wasn't happy. And especially with this all or nothing, a lot of times we would have people that like, they actually weren't even a right fit for the program and like that's why they weren't getting great results. And it was because we didn't really have like a filter system, right? It was this all or nothing. Whereas now where the business is, we've completely shifted the model. It's a hundred dollars a month for someone to join our community, right? So we have this like, this kind of like intro system first where it's not this massive all or nothing investment. So if someone can join for a hundred bucks, maybe they realize a month later, like actually I don't even want to do UGC. And so then it's completely fine. It's like, okay, they unsubscribe, they paid a hundred bucks, you know, no one's, no, no one's upset. Uh, but then also what we recently kind of relaunched the high ticket program on the back end, we just took 10 people in and now those 10 people, they've been in our academy for a long time. They're like our best students. They love working with us. We love working with them. And then this is kind of like that filter system, right? Where now we know who these people are before we're going to work with them. They know who we are before we're going to work with them. And it's kind of like those students will rise to the top. So that's how our business model has shifted. But something big happened in between um, this whole process that just kind of changed my life. And it's really why this thing happened, uh, this, this whole change in the business model. So yeah, December was our first $100,000 month at the time. And right before that, December 30th, my best friend in the world passed away. Uh, completely shook me up. I mean, we went to preschool together, kindergarten, uh, high school, like played sports together our whole lives. We both quit our jobs during the pandemic. We moved to Mexico together, basically became like entrepreneurs together, lived together for a year. Like we were best friends. And yeah, he passed away um, that same month. And it was just like the biggest wake up call for me. Like I was already super stressed business wise, super stressed with everything that was going on. But this just took things to a whole nother level. Um, and yeah, I got to a really dark place for a little bit where I was just like, what the hell am I doing? Like, why, why am I doing this? Right. I'm on this like growth at all cost path. And what's the reason? Like, why, why am I doing that? Other than the fact that this is what I've seen other people do, right? This is like the path that I think I should follow. And so, yeah, was in a tough spot. Um, really difficult time in my life and probably the next like four to six months, I really just analyzed everything that I was doing. And it was a period where I just basically started unwinding stuff and just started to think like, what do I actually want? Why am I doing this? How can I structure this company, everything I'm doing in a way that suits my goals, my lifestyle, my, my needs, my desires. And so yeah, for the next like six months or so, it was a very painful process of just like unwinding things, um, changing the business model overall, and really focusing on getting myself back into alignment. Like one thing I hated was I was on so many calls, right? So many calls managing things. And now I just, I do calls on Wednesdays. That's it. And I love that. I love waking up like today's a Thursday. I woke up and I was like, what am I going to do today? I'm going to film content. I got no calls. I'm just going to film. I uh, went to a coffee shop, did some emails and stuff. And like, I love that. It just feels way more in alignment with me. Also, 
the business model feels way more in alignment with our audience, right? I've had a shift into a big focus on our free platform. Like I love putting out free value out there. And I love getting these messages from someone where it's like, Mike, I use your platform. I just landed like a $700 deal. It's like, it's not like, that's not huge money, but for a lot of people that's massive. And this person be like, you know, this is one of the, this, this platform's incredible and they've never paid us. Right. And like, that's, what's really cool. It's just like, I don't know, being able to do something, put it out there and just thousands and thousands of people can use it and get value from it. And also like, it's completely free. Like I, that just like feeds my soul. Like I just love that. Um, and then changing our business model to a hundred dollar a month subscription that too, just like feels so much better to me. And now I know like deep in my heart, we have the best program on the market for UGC content creators. We have the best like value to price ratio. It's not even close. And yeah, it just feels, it feels so much more in alignment. Um, but it really took a lot of painful things to realize that I didn't necessarily just want like growth at all cost. And that is a pretty rough path to go down. So now for me going forward, one of the biggest things that I'm focused on is alignment, right? How can I stay aligned with what I want, with my vision, how I want my life to look and not sacrifice that for growth at all cost. So that's where I'm going. That's the direction I'm on. Hope you guys found this valuable. See you guys in the next video.